Hey guys, Little Coffee Bean here. Today we are going to do ribs in three, two, one, go. First, time to take off the jacket and wash my hands. Okay, so most of you might be wondering, what does three, two, and one mean? It means three hours smoked, two hours wrapped up, and a one hour grilled. Okay, so what do we have? We have two racks of baby back ribs. We have a jar full of honey, um, honey mustard right here. And we also have organic nose all seasoning and some apple juice, a cup full. Now that you have the ribs, you gotta wash them off. Well, first you gotta rinse off your ribs and then you can take this and just sprinkle it on both sides. Okay, we're gonna take it all and put it all in a bowl and mix it all up. We're mixing only the mustard and the, and the apple juice. Okay, so next we are going to get this mixture and put it on both sides again. Okay, so now that the ribs has, has been coated, do you remember how long do they stay on the smoker? That's right, three hours. Now, let's go put them on the, on the smoker for three hours. Okay, I am here with my checker, uh, with my new controller from Smoke Daddy right here. Bang! Now we are going to open the checker and put the ribs in. And now we are going to close up the checker and we're gonna let it sit in there for three hours. Okay, so the ribs have been sitting in the smoker for three hours. Now, it's time for step two to wrap it all up. Okay, so part one of step two. First, put down some foil so that it'll fit the ribs on. And then you're going to take some brown sugar and just sprinkle it all over, you know? Then, we are going to put the ribs on their meat side up. Okay, so now we are going to take the honey and just drizzle it all over. For this, there's no such thing as too much honey. Okay, so after you do the honey, you're gonna take the rest of your brown sugar and just put it all over it, all over. Okay, so next, we are going to take another uh, piece of foil and we're going to put it on there. Okay, so what are we going to do next? Next, we are going to make a little pocket and fold it like so on all sides. Okay, so it's all folded up and right now we are going to put this in the Traeger for two hours. Okay, so that is gonna go in the Traeger for two hours at 250 degrees. For step three, I am gonna hand it over to my dad, Crazy Day's Kitchen, to do it for me because it's my bedtime. Hey guys, Crazy Dave here. So, Little Coffee Bean had to go to bed, as we know. So she asked me to do the final step. Now remember, it's three, two, and one. So the three was the three hours of smoke. The two is the two hours wrapped up in foil. And the last one, the one hour, is now you remove it from the foil, you coat it with a little bit of barbecue sauce, and you leave it on the grill unfoiled for one hour. That's pretty much it. That's the secret recipe to three, two, one when it comes to rib. So anytime anybody tells you three, two, one, just remember three hours, two hours, and one hour. Can't go wrong. Okay guys, so the ribs have been on their Traeger now for the last hour, coated with the barbecue sauce. And these are absolutely beautiful. Unfortunately, a little coffee bean had to go to bed, so she won't be able to taste them nice and hot. But I'll tell you something, honestly, in my household, we actually like and super enjoy 
the food when it's actually served cold. Why is that? Well, because we think that the smoke actually settles in a little bit better when it's cold. Well, there you go. Thanks for watching. Enjoy. The ribs are so good that I even lick in the plate. <laughs> Now that is some tasty ribs from a little coffee bean. Have some. <laughs>